Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate step by step of how to dual boot Windows and Kali Linux. I have got requests from hundreds of users of my channel subscribers that I have to do this video regarding dual boot of Windows and Kali Linux. So here I am with this video. Before I start with the installation, let me tell you that you can use any version of Windows, whether it is Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 to dual boot with Kali Linux with the same procedure which I am going to show you in this video in the later half. And before we start, I have got queries from lots and lots of users under my installation video of Kali Linux that how I have managed to download the ISO image whether they are getting the RAR file or the RAR image of the Kali Linux. So I will be demonstrating you from the website that how to download the ISO image and then we will be starting with the dual boot of Kali Linux and Windows on Oracle VirtualBox. So let us open web browser. Now you can see that I have opened google.com and now let me open Kali Linux website that is called Kali.org. So now you can see that the website has been opened, our most advanced penetration testing distribution ever. This is the main website of Kali Linux and you can see that Kali Linux rolling edition released 2016.1. So I will be using Windows 7 and Kali Linux version 2016.1 64-bit in this video. So how to download it? Click on Downloads, go to Download Kali Linux and now you can see that Kali Linux has different versions. That is Kali Linux 64-bit, Kali Linux 32-bit, Kali Linux 64-bit Lite, 32-bit Lite and Kali Linux ARM HF. Now you can find that there are two headings, direct and torrent. So if you click on this ISO, you can find that the ISO image has started downloading. So this is the same image which I have downloaded and you can have the direct ISO image from the Kali Linux website. So I just cancel it because I have already downloaded this image. So if you want to download it as a torrent, so click on this torrent, you can find the torrent file. You can use uTorrent or any BitTorrent software to download Kali Linux. So you can see that I am having two ISO image at my desktop, that is Windows 7, 32-bit and Kali Linux 2016, that is 64-bit. So make it sure that whether you are using 32-bit or 64-bit, it doesn't matter. The matter is the settings, which I'm going to demonstrate you from now in this video. So let us start Oracle VirtualBox. So now let me go with to new. And now here I am with the machine name that is Windows 7 plus Kali Linux. So the type should be Microsoft Windows and the version should be Windows 7 64 bit. Although I'm using the 32 bit version. So there is no worry that I am going to use that is the 64 bit edition of this Windows. So click on next. So let me give the RAM that is 2048, which is two GB of RAM. Click on next, click on create, click on next. So dynamically allocated, so default options will be there. So now let me change the allocation. So in this video, I will be taking 20 GB for Windows 7 and 20 GB for Kali Linux. So let me allocate 40 GB. So you can even increase 60 GB or 70 GB, whatever you feel like as per your hard disk and the computer requirements. So click on create. So now you can see that the machine has been created and we are all set to install the dual boot version of Windows 7 and Kali Linux. So let us start. So before we start, let us uh, let me first of all remind you that we are going to install Windows first and then the Kali Linux. So let's start. So it will demand for the ISO file. So let me click on this button. So desktop, which is having Windows 7 and Kali Linux. So first of all, we will be installing Windows 7. So click on this Windows 7, click on open and click on start. So let me close this view and full screen. So the windows has started. So this is the opening page that is language to install English time and currency format English United States. Let me change it to India because I'm living in India. 
so here is it english india keyboard or us or input method is us it is okay so click next and click on install now so make it sure if you are doing this onto your standalone system you can even do this with these steps but you have to follow the certain steps which i am going to tell you very very important steps so click on i agree, accept the license agreements click on next so there are two options upgrade or custom so because we have started our dual boot and windows 7 is the first operating system which we are going to install so rather than go to upgrade click on custom so that we can install the standalone machine and then we can partition the disk and then we can proceed with the kali linux so click on custom so now you can see that i am having 40 gb of hard disk drive so let me click on driver options and now click on new so i will be allocating 20 gb for windows 7 and 20 gb for kali linux so let's provide 20 gb click on apply click on ok so this is unallocated space and this we will be using when we install kali linux so let's click this and click on next so now you can see that the windows have started installing so till it installs let me pause the video for some time and we return once the windows 7 has been installed so now you can see that we are almost at 99% of the installation of Windows 7. Yes. So now anytime we can get the message of reboot and after reboot we will be continuing with the installation of Windows 7. So let us click on restart now. So don't press any key over here because we have already installed Windows 7 on our hard disk drive which has been allocated from our main hard disk of this computer. So we can see that the setup is starting the services. So we are almost there for completing the installation. So till it completes, let us pause the video again. So now we can see that the setup has restarted the windows. A beautiful logo is coming and now we have to perform some sequential steps and then we will be going towards desktop so setup is preparing your computer for the first time So now we have to type our username. So let me type my name. So the computer name is Anandair PC. So click on next. So let me type a simple password. And now let me go with the ask me later option and time is correct. So home network is good for me. So couple of seconds more and then we will be coming towards our desktop and we complete the 50% of this video in which we are doing our dual boot of Windows 7 and uh, Kali Linux and after that we will be rebooting our machine doing some settings and then we will be installing Kali Linux so make it sure that you follow the steps step by step so that no mistake can be there yes so now Windows 7 has given us the welcome and let's see the desktop.
yes so now let us first of all increase the resolution right click on the desktop click on screen resolution and let me go with 1024 into 768 so click on apply click keep changes click ok so now we can see that the windows has been installed correctly on this c drive but we don't see the d drive because we have already reserved this d drive for you can say for our kali linux so let us shut down the machine and let us do some settings and then we start with the kali linux so let us click on start and click on shut down so now we have got this machine that is called windows 7 plus kali linux what we have to do is to right click this machine click on settings now go to this storage now you have this two things that is windows 7 kali linux vdi that is the virtual disk image and this is the iso image so click on this iso image go to this icon click on this browse and go to this kali linux 2016.1 amd64 so that now we can boot with the kali linux machine so click on ok and now let us restart our this machine so let us close this let me go with view full screen so now we can see that the kali linux main uh, screen has come so let us click on this graphical install <coughs> So now you can see that the opening page has come. So this is the language which is English. It is default. So no need to change. Click on continue. Set your location. That is I'm living in India. So I'm clicking on India. So click on continue. So keyboard to configure that is American English is good for us. So click on continue. So now it is detecting the CD and retrieving some components from the CD. let's wait yes so hardware has been detected of network so it is configuring the network with DHCP So let's wait. So now we can have the host name of this machine which is Kali. So click on continue. So domain will also be Kali. Let's press enter. So root password. Let me give this and let us continue. So it is setting up the clock from the network time server that is NTS. So now everyone this is the main step which we have to set up the partitioning so don't use this first option the second option the third and the fourth click on this manual option so click on continue so now what we have to see is to have the guarded partitioning that is this option that is 22 gb because why this first and second is being reserved by windows 7 so click on this free space and click on continue so create a new partition or automatically partition the space it will be taken as a second option that is automatically partition the free space so take this option click on continue so all files in one partition will be okay for us so click on continue and now you can see that two partitions are created that is ext4 for kali linux and 941 mb that is for swap space so click on this option that is finish partitioning and write changes to disk so click on continue so right changes to this that is click on yes and click on continue so now let kali linux install the system so let me pause the video for some time and we return once the linux has been installed so now you can see that it has almost completed the installation of the system and it is running some add-on steps so let us click on this full screen so now it is saying that is configure the package manager a network miner that can be used to supplement the software that is included on cd rom this may include the newer versions of software available so if you want to download the newer softwares from the internet you can click on yes otherwise click on no so click on continue this you can automatically update which i have already shown you in my another video that is how to update kali linux repositories
which you can uh, see my under my playlist of Kali Linux. So it is now configuring the package manager. Let us wait. So now you can see that it is installing the grub bootloader. Running the dpkj, that is the Debian package over here. So install the grub bootloader to master record. So click on yes. So click on continue. So this is the device which you have to select so that everything can be there. So click on continue. So in a few seconds, we will be completing and then we will be greeted with the main page in which we will be having the option of Kali Linux and Windows 7. So it is finishing the installation with the update in eTramFS, which we already have seen in my other videos of Ubuntu and Linux Mint also. So all these steps are very required and these are the only steps through which you can install any version of windows with kali linux so the installation is complete so let us make it sure that click on continue so devices for optical drives so there is no device over there so let us wait for the installation to finish off just couple of seconds more So it is removing some live packages. So let us pause the video till it does. So now you can see that the system has started reboot and now yes. So now you can see that I have got these three options that is Kali Linux, Advanced Options and Windows 7 Loader. So if I go with the Kali Linux first of all and then I will make you check the Windows 7 also. So let us press on Kali Linux. And yes, it is booting successfully. So let us first of all log in with Kali and then we reboot and then we log in with Windows 7 so that you should assure, I should assure you that the installation has succeeded and we have got the perfect dual boot operating system that is Windows 7 and Kali Linux. So let's wait for the opening screen. So the username is root and let me give the password. Yes. So now I am able to sign in. Let's wait for the desktop to come so that we can assure that the installation has succeeded. Yes. So Kali Linux has been installed. So let us uh, uh, reboot this machine and let us now boot with the Kali uh, with the Windows 7. So let's restart and now the same option let us press the Windows 7. Yes so we can assure that the Kali Linux and Windows 7 dual boot has been successfully done. Windows is been booting and Kali Linux has successfully booted. So in this video I have demonstrated you how to make the dual boot of Windows 7 and Kali Linux so do give this a shot. You can use the same uh, options for installing any windows with Kali Linux. So do give this a like. Do share with your friends. Thank you so much.